Well, here's what we're doing. Every, uh, every like couple of months or so, or month roughly, what we like to do is, many of you guys know, we started um, our, this By Any Means initiative um, about a year ago now. Um, and so we, we just like bring updates on what's going on there. So some of you I know are new and you've never been here. You're like, what is by any means? Um, because we're crazy, we decided that during COVID, this was our turn to find a home for the well. Um, but also to continue planting churches. If you don't know, the well in its 10 years roughly of existence, we've planted four churches in the Boulder County area, and we want to continue doing that. Yeah, and then we wanted to fund what God was already doing. And so really those three things, find the well at home, keep planting churches and make sure that the mission right here in Boulder continues going. And so we're committed to those things. And so as a church, we said, hey, let's see what we can do together. Let's all be generous together and see what that could look like. And out of your guys' generosity, out of expected and, uh, and commitments made to giving, it was, it was about $2.4 million from our little church here in Boulder, which is amazing. And we still have a goal of three point. Two five roughly to, to get to, and so, um, but people have been generous, and it's just been amazing to watch that and just what's going on. And so, instead of me always talking about it, we always wanted to um, bring some people from our church up. And so, I have the Wendells up here today. And so, um, Rachel, why don't you go ahead and introduce your family and and just t- tell us your names and, and your kids' names and all that good stuff. Hi, uh, I'm Rachel. This is James. We're the Wendells. We have three kiddos, seven, five, three, and they're over there. They're over there. Yes, and kids in the office building yeah, next door, right? Totally right? The yeah, yeah, they're, they're right on the other side of that wall right over there. Hey, I, I would love, if you wouldn't mind, could, could you just share briefly just about um, how you came to the well and, and just like how that experience has been for you and your family and just navigating that and just, um, and, and, and I know you guys love our church and you've, you've served it so well, but maybe just share with everybody a little bit about you guys coming to the well and what that's meant to your family. So we're going to start crying before I even talk. So we've been coming to the well for about six years. Um, I mean, how we started coming is not a very exciting story. We were going to church in Austin, and I asked my pastor, where should we go? And he said, this is an Acts 29 church. You should go here. And we were like, sure. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but the first Sunday we came, both James and I were like, yep, this is where we want to be. was the first church that James uh, always came to with me, and um, it's just always felt like home, and it's been just a huge process of both of us growing into Christ, so. Man, you, you can't tell, you can't, I, I'm not supposed to cry too. I still have to <laughs> preach a sermon here, Rachel. Man, well, that, that's awesome. And well, you guys have just been such a blessing, especially you guys have served. So if you don't know, if you've got kids, they're always over in kids helping out um, so many Sundays. And uh, especially during this wild season of COVID, um, taking care of kids has been um, a stretch at times, you know. And so um, having that ministry here for our kids has been huge. And so you guys have blessed us so much there. I, I would love if you wouldn't mind, just share a little bit about why you guys decided to make a by any means commitment um, when we kind of did that, we did, in, in case you weren't here, we did a big commitment Sunday where our church kind of turned out and what that meant. And, and I know that you guys were part of that. Would you mind sharing what, why you guys said yes to that? I mean, the simple answer is I can't imagine saying no. <laughs> um, but I think this has really been a season where God has been, you know, shaking things and um, kind of pointing out idols, you know, for all of us. Certainly for me, even not for you guys. No. <laughs> and um, it just seemed like perfect timing. Like mm. God was saying, "How serious are you about this? You know, how serious are you about your church? How serious are you about me?" And to me, I mean, you, you were joking about it being kind of crazy time. I think it's the perfect time because mm. <laughs> there are so much that's being revealed. And so for us, it just felt like, how could we say no? Yeah. Like, yeah. What would you guys say, just kind of going off that, to anybody, um, how would you encourage somebody to stay with their commitment? And um, if somebody's thinking about like, hey, I, I want to, is this something I should be involved in? What would you say to those people? I'd say first pray. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think if you feel like you belong to this body, this is what this body is doing right now. And 
you can trust that God is leading the leadership in the way they should be going and that this, you can follow them in that. And, you know, for me, that's where it lands is if this is what our body is doing, we should be part of it. Um, so don't be afraid. You can trust God. <laughs> that, that's great. That's great. Well, if, if, if you are interested, if you want to know more about any of this, um, uh, after the service, right out by the giant shark on the wall, um, we'll have, uh, Maggie's going to be moving the by any means information out there. There'll be somebody that can get you some information about that if you want to learn a little bit more about it, or if you're interested in making a commitment, you can do that. Um, and just as a reminder to those of us that have, that, that we're still rolling on this thing. This is a two-year process for us that we've all kind of engaged in. And so I'm so grateful for our church. I'm so grateful for you guys on multiple levels. So, um, hey, get can I pray for you guys real quick? And All right. Join me in prayer. God, I thank you for this church. I thank you for its people that you have sent, that love it so well, that serve it, that are generous, that uh, want to see your glory go forth in our community in a way um, that maybe our, our city has never seen. I, I, I don't know. Um, but God, I, I'm just thankful that we are a community that is submitted to your will and what you would have for us. W would you be with the Wendells and their three children um, as they um, navigate all the things that, that being a parent entails, but also um, being married and loving each other and building a strong home in which you are the foundation. Would you help them in that in only the ways that you can? We pray all this in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.